Yo, what's going on? This is Jerome Flood, and I have another review. Drum Dots. Drum Dots. This is mine. I wrote on the case. Can you see? I wrote it because I don't want anybody taking it. I personally like Drum Dots a lot. Um, it's very efficient, and I'm going to show you what they look like. Now, mind you, they're kind of dirty. But I'm going to show you how to clean them as well. So this is what they look like. You, you ever heard of moon gel? It's like the same thing almost, but it's better. So I'm going to play the snare without the drum dots and the snare with the drum dots. And then I'm going to show you how to clean them. All right, here is the snare without the drum dot. You hear that ring? I hate the ring. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the ring. It's so annoying. It's like it doesn't, like I can't play as good when I hear that ring. It's like, oh, this is gross. So I'm going to put a drum dot on it and then I'm going to play and then maybe I'll put another drum dot on it after. One drum dot. Check it out. Where's the ring? I don't hear it. It disappeared. That's why I love drum dots. Because sometimes you don't have time to tune the snare like you're in a rush and or you're you're late for sound check or late for a gig. And the sound guys is complaining about the the toms. Oh, the toms sound terrible. Blah blah blah. You need to turn it up. I'm not trying to tune right now. So just slap a drum dot on there, and now it sounds like gold. I'm gonna slap another drum dot on there. See what happens. That's perfect man that is pure gold that's perfect right there so uh, they have drum dots that come in different sizes as well so you've seen like the big ones up here there's some small ones right here if you can't tell small ones this drum dot is so dirty I'm cleaning that one first I promise you so yeah you got these ones and you got the small ones I use these ones like mainly on snares and then sometimes when I want to put a drum dot on the 10 inch, the 10 inch uh, tom, I'll put a small one on there because when you put the big one on the 10 inch tom, it just makes it sound like paper. And so get the small ones for the 10 inch. And not only can you put these drum dots on snares, you can put them on toms, you can put them on cymbals. I'll, I'll do a cymbal for you too. And you'll see the difference. So let me go ahead and get that symbol right now. All right, so I have this lovely TRX special edition 18 inch crash right here. Can you see it? Here it is. And I'm gonna put a drum dot on it. 
I would probably put the drum dot underneath. So here it is without the drum dot. It's a great sound and symbol. Sometimes it may not be the tone that you're looking for. Well, I'm just gonna take this drum dot right here, stick it under there, it'll stick, and let's see what happens. See the ring, it's a quicker, it's a quicker catch. And sometimes you need that for a song, depending on what style of music you're playing. So this is without. And this is with. You need different sounds sometimes. So there's that. Now, let's go ahead and wash these drum dots, huh? Uh -huh, uh huh? All right, so here we go. The best way to wash your drum dots is water and oil. Um, you can use vegetable oil, cooking oil, you know, whatever. Uh, so you can actually wash it in warm water, cold water. It doesn't make a difference. But who's going to wash in cold water? Like, who wants to do that? Like, especially when you're using your hands, the least you can do is be comfortable. So let's get the water warm and then let's try to wash the drum dot. All right, you don't have to fill the sink up all the way, just, you know, just a little bit, maybe like 25%. Take some uh, vegetable oil, you know, get it up in there. Get it up in there. And then all you gotta do is take the drum dots, put them in there. Look how dirty this drum dot is. That is, I just, you know, it's pure laziness of me not washing this. But hey, throw it in there. This one is not so bad. A little discoloration. This one's uh, it's pretty filthy, man. And let's wash a tiny one. This is straight dirt. All right, and all you gotta do is just rub them. it off at the end and look at that it's a hundred times better man it's a reusable drum dot it's almost like once you buy one you don't have to buy them again the only reason why I keep getting these is because I keep losing them so yeah let's wash the other ones and then you can go ahead and buy some drum dots <laughs> say about this one is that it's yellow but that's because I let this the dirt sit too long on this but if you do it right away when you notice that it gets dirty it will always be super clear so that's you know that's all you need man hope this video was helpful wash your hands everybody we don't need no corona